Hey guys, Betty here with Shore Life Creations. I hope everybody is having a wonderful Monday. It's a beautiful day here, sun shining, it's nice and cool. We're not having that hot weather that we were having, which is nice because it was awful hot yesterday, which was nice for change. But I don't like it when it gets that hot, especially at night. I can't sleep well when it gets that hot. Come on in. Let me know you're here. Let me try and find the live on here. So I can see the comments. Oh, there it is. I don't need a sound. Hey, Nettie. Hey, Brenda. Cloudy and muggy. Nope, can't be having that. Let me change the camera view. I think I must have bumped it when I was messing around out there in the back. But we want everything to be directed down some. So that's a good thing. Get rid of that. I see down. You probably won't see me because you want to see what I'm doing and not see me so much. We're going to work on a baseball rail today. I figured we might as well see what we can get into. Start the week off. How about that? We're going to work on this today. I don't have the ring light on if y'all need it. Maybe I better turn it on a little bit. And let me turn this so I can see. Get my camera repositioned a little bit. Hold tight. Let's see if we can get it positioned a little better. Let me move over here. See if I can change this. And maybe a little better turn this on a little get a little light on the subject maybe you can see me and that I got such a mess going on in here I have to watch where I step so I don't trip and fall I need to hire a professional organizer. Okay, now at least you can see me a little bit. Oops, I need to turn that off. I didn't post the link because this will be available for sale in my shop when I get done. And I didn't put it listed yet. But the blank rail is listed if you want to get the blank rail to make one. That's already listed in the shop if you're interested in the blank rail. But the finished one that I do today will be listed also. Brush that off in the trash. Hey, Rena. I know we were in the middle of talking when I went live. Okay, the rail. I cut the mesh at 24 inches. I already did that before we went live. I sent out a text alert. If you are interested in getting text alerts, let's see if I can add that. I thought I put that in the, but it didn't show up. I'll have to add that later. I know that Nettie's already listed. She gets a text alert. I'll add that again later in the in the video. But I thought I added it before I went live. I'm not used to that yet, but I will add it again. To get text alerts. Um, I have to look my number up. I don't know it by heart yet. Let's see what the number is. And I will pin it. get 
added to my list. So you will be alerted before I go live. Now let's see if I can pin it. It won't let me pin it. Oh, there it is. Pin. Okay. It is now pinned to the bottom. Hey, Lee. Thank you. If you want to be added to my alert system, just text to that and it will add you. Now, what we're going to do first is we're going to add this little piece of styrofoam to the bottom because we're, what I like to add, I wish I had a knife in here and I don't. I'm going to trim this off some. I'm just going to use these scissors so this isn't so thick. And this is not the best thing to use. But I don't like it being so thick. Close your ears for a minute. Just need a little piece of styrofoam. And this was a leftover piece. I like for my bow to stand up and I also use it to stick my picks in to the base. So I'm going to add that right to the middle. And I want to put something under this so it doesn't stick to my mat. So I'm going to grab a piece of my sign metal and put it under it just so. It keeps it off of my mat. Put some hot glue on my styrofoam. And just stick it on there and hold it for a minute. And I will zoom in because you don't need to see me. And then I'm going to use, hopefully, the zip ties long enough, just to make sure. And it stays on, because I like to be double duty, double secure. And I'm going to leave my little knobby piece in the front because I don't want it on the back and take a chance that it will scratch somebody's door and they'll never see it on the front because we're going to cover it up. So, and I need these pliers because my hands are not strong enough to tighten it. hand strength. If everybody would stop texting me, that would be nice. Okay, so we're good to go there. Clean off my metal. Save that for a sign later. <clears throat> Put my little tools back. Now we're going to get our pipe cleaners. <clears throat> and we'll add those where we want to add our mesh. 
I haven't done these in a, one of these in a while. Show the love, everybody. I haven't done that. I haven't showed the love or spread this around. I need to do that, too. Where I want to spread the love. Where do I want to spread it? Y'all share the love for me. I appreciate it. I appreciate it greatly. That helps me out immensely. We're going to put one there. We're going to put one here close to the middle, right next to the star phone. Nettie, did you get a um, text notification? Did it come through all right? It's the first time I've sent one out. Just want to make sure it was working okay. Then we're going to put one over here on the other side of the star phone. Thank you. Just wanted to make sure it was working. And we're going to come back to the bottom. And we may have to add another one. I'm guessing until I put these in. Because I cut, my, like I said, I cut my mesh at 24 inches, I believe. 10 inch mesh. So they should be pretty good size. Um... ruffles nice and thick so they should cover really well hey Shay come on in all right so we have three and two we may need another one over here and I'm thinking up here on this corner I cut seven, I think, over there. So we'll see how it goes. There's, there's no hard and fast rule, guys. It's all in how it comes out. All right. So let's start adding our mesh. We are going to do... Make sure I'm in y'all's view here. We're going to do a little roll I usually roll about three times and then we're going to do a little crunch and then I go this way and I roll it again three times till it meets and then I turn it over so that the these rolls are down and then I put it in the twist tie that way you don't have any fraying because your rolls are down everything's all tucked in so no fray no fraying everything's all tucked in then you go to your next one We're going to roll about three times. Then we're going to do our scrunching it in. And then we're going to take the other end and we're going to roll it about three times. 
till it meets. Turn it over. Okay, go to your next pipe cleaner. Doesn't matter if you go to the top or the bottom. I'm going to the bottom. Tuck it in. Tie it up. Tuck and tie. Twist it in. And then fluff it out. Okay. It's all good here. It's a beautiful day. Sun's out. Cooled off. I mean, we haven't turned air AC on yet, but it got hot yesterday. And I was like, oh, I didn't sleep for two nights in a row because it was hot. And I don't like to sleep when it's hot. And I thought, oh, no, don't tell me. We haven't even gotten to June yet. And I don't like turning the AC on already. But I do not sleep well when it's hot and sticky. I like to have my covers. I'm a... I'm the kind of girl that likes to have her blankies and all. I don't care if it's 90 degrees. I like to have all my covers. And I need a new window unit for my bedroom. And we haven't gone to get that yet. Alright, so that's one side of it is done for the mesh. See how nice and full and fluffy that is? So now we're going to work on the other side. We'll come back with our bows and little things. So let's start on this side. We're going to put three on this side. And three rolls. Tuck that mesh in. Crunch. Like I said, I cut this at 24 inches, 10 inch mesh, three rolls, tuck that mesh in, make sure you get all of it rolling in, and that keeps your mesh from fraying, and then crunch it in, flip it over, stick it in your tie, Time up good. Twist them in. Fluff them out. These are so easy, but they make such cute door hangers. Cute. They call them wreath rails, door hangers. But you know, if you want something to fill up your Etsy shop and they don't take all day to make, you can embellish them with all kinds of flat words and greenery and all kinds of picks and things. You can make them simple or elaborate. They're just a lot of fun. A lot of fun to make. And in my shop, honestly, any sign, any round sign that you find that you like, if you message me and say, I really would like to see, make that into a wreath rail, I can turn any 12-inch sign into a rail. So just message me. I've had a lot of people do that, say, I really like this sign. I want to make it into a rail. Can you do that? It's no problem. Oh, I'm so sorry, Shay. That is so heartbreaking. I don't know what I would do. I mean, I've had to do that with animals. I think we all have at one point because, you know, they just don't live long enough. And I have one dog right now. She is my life. She's everything. I can't. 
I can't move that she's not under my feet. Now, she doesn't come out here with me in the studio because the studio makes her nervous. It's just too much going on, too many things. She's my little four-pound everything world. She, but when I'm in the house... I can't move without her, and she's just my everything, and I just can't imagine. So I know your world is, whew, I can't talk about it because I'll cry for you. Bless you. And right now, if I cry, I won't be able to see what I'm doing. So I know I'm, my heart's broken for you. It is broken for you. So I need a drink. Bless you. I, I know. Bless you. Mm. I know. All right. Who? And I don't have any tissues, so don't make me cry. Oh. All right. Now, let's make the center bow first. This is what we have so far. Let me zoom out a little bit. See how easy that was and how fast it went? That was just the mesh part. Cute, huh? That's really cute. All right, let's make a bow. Bows always make you happy. Who doesn't love a bow? Shay. Dang it. All right. Break my heart. All right. Let's see. I think I want this on the bottom. I love my fur babies. They just love unconditionally. Don't ask for anything in return except for you to love them back. And how anybody can this post on Facebook tear me up. People that are cruel to animals just, I have to scroll by so fast because it, I just can't handle it. Just tears me up, people that are mean to those dogs on Facebook. Hey, Trisha. I'm trying. I'm trying to get back in the swing. I really am. I am, I am, I am. All right. Let's do a bow. Bows make you happy. Bows make me happy. Let's see if we can make this bow. Whew. Make a nice big bow for the center. Hey, Pam. How are you today? My son was home for the weekend. I haven't seen him in almost a year. He and his wife, and they brought another couple with them. I swear. They, got, they were so busy while they were here, I felt like I didn't get to see them, but maybe, shoot, all together, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I think I saw them maybe all together four hours, if that. I told my husband, I said, I'm a little perturbed because they had all these things they wanted to do and see and... I didn't even get 10 minutes alone with him, I don't think. I'm hoping they'll start coming home more often. Which would be nice. Stop with all the silliness of too busy and this, that, and the other. And Yeah, I was. 
I was very quiet and emotional yesterday. We had breakfast together, which was about an hour. Of course, they had their other couple with them, and, you know, so it just, it just wasn't the same. I mean, I just, when you're sharing time, it's just, so... I don't know. My husband keeps telling me just leave it alone. In other words, just be quiet, shut up. But I wasn't a very happy mom, but I'm trying to not be. trying to be a good mom about it and not say anything. I'm only going to be able to do three loops with this because it's not enough red, but we're going to run with it. Use what we got. They live about four hours, but which is not far, but their schedules have been a situation. They got married in July, and their schedules have been a situation where they just haven't had the time, is what I was told. And now they're buying a new home, closer, about two hours. The house is being built. will be finished in, let me see if I remember what they told me. I think they said October. She's starting a new, the new job in August. So they will be moving to that new location then in August, so his job will change. Or he won't be working right away, but when they work, when they move. So hopefully when they move and they're closer and their hours will be different and blah, 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 then that's gonna make things change. We will see. Mom is hoping that's going to be, but we will see. We will see. One can only hope. My husband keeps telling me, just be quiet. That is not part of my vocabulary, ladies. I am not one that is quiet. And my son knows that. You know, I'm not the quiet one. He is. And my son knows that. Mom is not the one that is the quiet one. Uh-oh. Did I freeze? Oh, no. I look like I went out of focus a little bit or something. All right. So, let's get this bow looking Yeah, I'm not the quiet one, but I'm trying not to cause too many waves because the daughter-in-law is, I think, the controlling factor in this, so. Is something wrong? Are we having issues? I don't know if the Facebook is acting up or what, guys. Let me fluff this bow out before I crank down on it. Okay, let me know if I start having issues. I look a little blurry on my end.
Okay, now let's put a put a pipe cleaner. I thought I had an extra pipe cleaner here somewhere. Pipe cleaner. So let's get our rail back and put our bow on, feed it through. Tie it off in the back. Hey, Susan. Thank you, Natty. All right. Make sure your bow is up top good. You don't want an old saggy down at the bottom bow. Now, it's like old ladies. You don't want saggy boobs. You don't want a saggy bow. Not that, you know, I would know anything about that. Thanks, Deb. I appreciate it. No sags. That's right. Nobody wants sags. Nobody appreciates the sag. If anybody's interested in the rail, it's listed in my shop. Also, if you just want the sign, that is also listed in my shop. You can put it in a wreath. That's in the shop. 12 inch, 8 inch. Need one. Now, I also pulled out they look like little fireworks. So let's put a little, little sparkle in there. I'm going to do the tag at myself. And this is when I usually get my wreath stand out because I can't design sitting down like that so bear with me a minute <coughs> I'm funny about having to see things a certain way design. So let's put a hanger on this first. But I have to look at things straight on to be able to see how it goes. So let's put a hanger on it first. 
And I think a, a string on this is going to be good. So, let's see if I can get it threaded. Because that might be a challenge. But, I have found a lot of times when you use string, the easiest way to do that, and of course, you know, doing this live might bite me in the butt, but the easiest way to do that sometimes is to put a piece of tape on it to thread it through a hole so you wrap the end with a piece of tape kind of like how your shoestring has a has a hard piece on the end of it And then, of course, you'll have to cut it off. So make sure you give yourself enough. I may have put too much on there. But let's see. There you go. But it seems to work. And then knot it a couple of times. So you know you got a big enough knot that it won't go back through the hole. I lost a knot. So I have to do the other side. This is some of my shipping tape, but I don't like this tape. I'm waiting for some to come in the mail from Amazon. But, you know, use what you can get your hands on when you run low. And you let yourself get low. Give yourself a nice sharp point with your tape. Can you see? I don't even know if y'all can see that. So you can get it through the hole. We do whatever it takes. Of course, I've got my string too long. Well, that's all right. It's better to have it too long than not enough. Now we have a hanger. So, now I'm going to have to.
to shorten this because it's going to hang too low on my easel. Now to reposition you guys again. You didn't know watching one of my lives is like being on a roller coaster. It's like being on a carnival ride. You never know where you're going to end up when you come come live with me. What is going on? My, my, uh, my live video is all blurry. Now I can see what I'm doing up here. Yep, the back is all flat. This little pipe cleaner here will get tucked in. You can see. You would see if I open it up so you can see. Everything's flat on the back. No scratching the customer's door. That is for sure. I'll turn this so I can see what I'm doing. All right, let's change. Maybe it's my settings. Why I'm blurry. Okay. Now, let's come back in and just look at this. Let's put some of these in and make it pretty. Now that I've played with the thing and bored y'all to death. Now you remember I put that styrofoam in there where the bow is. And this is why I put that in there. So that this has something to grab hold to. Now you have something for this to grab onto. We'll use some hot glue. Yeah, I just think it was my laptop. My laptop was being stubborn. Just jamming in that piece of styrofoam with some hot glue. So you know it's not going anywhere. And then spread these little puppies out. I'm going to come back and cut these pipe cleaners off because we don't need those anymore. I wasn't sure. That's why I left them. I wasn't sure if we were going to use them again or not. But we're not. So we're going to cut those off. Because we don't need those. I think the big bow in the middle is all we need since we're adding these sparkles.
morning, Terry Lynn Marshall. How are you? Are you having a fantabulous Monday? At least I think it's Monday. I lose track of what day it is anymore. But I think it's Monday. And we're going to stick this one over here on this side. Give it a little wiggle. Make sure it's in there good. Stretch these little suckers all around. Pull them in there to the bow. Get rid of the spider webs. And glitter everywhere from those things. Woo! Oh, you finally got one. Good deal. Good deal. I know you could have having trouble getting one. All right. And I think that pretty well sums it up. And you guys, you see, that didn't take any time to do. And you have something cute as cute can be to put in your Etsy shop, have for sale in your, sh in your shop. Let me take this knot out because I shortened it to put on my... On my thing so I could see what I was doing and this will be listed in my Etsy shop for sale if you want the rail to do one yourself that's listed in my shop if you want this one it will be listed shortly and if you want one of my other signs added to a rail that you can make for yourself. Just message me. I can turn any 12 inch sign into a rail. Have done. They're a lot of fun. They don't take long. Easy projects. Lots of fun to do. If you want to get added to my text messaging, I added it to the pin post. Just jump on my text messaging. I'm going to try and go live a couple times a week. I don't send out a lot of text messages, but it'll let you know when I'm going live. I will let you know when I have new listings in my shop, new products for sale, new wreath attachments, that kind of thing. If I'm going to have a sale coming up, I'll let you know through text messaging. Just add you to my list. I appreciate you guys. I hope you have a great rest of your Monday. Um, be good to yourself and do something nice for someone else. Have a great afternoon, guys. Love you.